Right now, Colorado Senate President just learning his recall challenge has been rejected. Within the last five minutes, the Secretary of State's office saying the petition to recall John Morse was properly worded and the recall effort can move forward. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn live at the Capitol. And Russell Morse isn't the only senator facing recall because of his stance on guns. That's right, and Senator Angela Hiron is facing a very similar recall challenge. The two Democratic senators could be the first lawmakers in state history to be recalled. At a hearing this morning... We cannot say, obviously, that there is specific bias, although it is striking that there would be such a meeting. More bickering also, ahead of key right, rulings you. on two recall petitions. There's no indication that it, in any way, shape, size, or form, there's any bias by the, by the deputy secretary who's hearing the protest. If it appears to be problematic, that's enough. Democrats the are accusing the secretary of state of essentially coaching Republicans on how to file a recall petition against Senator Angela Heron. Because of that, Democrats want the secretary of state's office to recuse itself in the matter. Uh, frankly, this is an, in terms of credibility as to this decision going forward, I don't, I can't think of anything more important. Two senators are facing recall elections because of their support of new gun laws this past legislative session. There's also a challenge in the Senate President John Morse case about the language used in the petition, but attorney Richard Westfall argues the petition language followed a template dating back to 2005. And to say that this somehow this, some additional language needs to be added is, I just think, um, an absurd proposition. And again, the Secretary of State just ruling moments ago on that absurd proposition, as that lawyer put it. And uh, the Secretary of State has essentially certified the petition on the recall for Senator John Morse, uh, the Secretary of State rejecting John Morse's challenge and essentially saying that the petition meets all statutory requirements. That ruling coming just moments ago. So now this is most likely headed to district court where Senator Morse is expected to appeal the decision of the Secretary of State's office. Live at the State Capitol, Russell Haythorn, 